What's up guys, I'm John, and today I'm here with my awesome nurse practitioners, Chanel and Jess. Hello. Hey. And they took time out of their busy schedule today to share some time with me and you to maybe answer some of your top questions that we always get. So today, one of the main questions that we wanted to cover, I guess, that people really want to know was, what are the top benefits of hormone replacement therapy, I guess? You know, when a, let's say a female goes on hormone replacement therapy or a male goes on hormone replacement therapy, I guess it can affect them the exact same way, right? But what do you think the benefits are? What, what do you think, Chanel? Definitely just improvement of overall quality of life as far That's as improving way. energy levels yes. mm -hmm. and yeah. lean muscle mass, fat loss, recovery, yeah. lowering inflammation. Sleep quality. Sleep quality. It's a huge one, yes. right? A lot of people have a lot of problems sleeping these days. Um, and improving quality of life, like Chanel knocked that right in the head. That's my overall top benefit if anybody says mm -hmm. that, right Jess? Oh yeah. Um, because at that point it kind of covers, you know, everybody's different, so your quality of life may be different than my quality of life. Yes. But you know, the whole point is I guess to improve everybody's across the board. Absolutely. Uh, so that's cool. So what do, you, what do you think the top benefits you, you get from patients, you know, that tell you, hey listen Jess, you know, hormone replacement therapy, because I, the ones that, that really like give me chills, you've changed my life. Yes. That 100%. one right there, like you, you can't buy that feeling. Like there's nothing like it. Like that's like the best feeling in the world. Like to tell somebody else that you've changed their life, and for somebody like wow, like that's that's a pretty yes. big thing to say. Oh, to yeah. have patients even to just say, you know, you've saved my marriage. I've lost a hundred yes. pounds. I feel yeah. better than I did when I was thirty. I'm yes. fifty five. Yeah. It's fantastic. It is. It really is. So, so, I mean, what do you think as far as benefit wise? If it wasn't just quality of life, because I definitely that. That hear a lot about um, increased libido for okay. sure. Okay. Um, fatigue, so have much greater energy, um, and then weight loss. I hear a lot about weight That's loss as one. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is a big one. It affects a lot of people out there right now that are obese and overweight. I mean, you know, and energy goes right along with it because usually, I mean, a lot of people that are obese or even eating bad foods um, is your fuel. They're lethargic. They're tired. Yeah. You got billions of dollars in energy drinks out there, over-the-counter supplementation that's trying to give people energy and giving them all kinds of garbage, I think, to yeah. a certain extent, if you guys want to agree on that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's crazy, right? So, yes. uh, you know... It, HRT can be life changing. I think the biggest benefit, like I said, is quality of life that Chanel covered. That is my biggest best. And at that point, it's helped me, right, over 11 years now myself. So I was a big believer, obviously, when it changed my life. It was like opening the shades for the first time and seeing the sunlight, I, I swear. So I got, you guys can laugh. I was a 98 on total testosterone when I did my testosterone when I was 29 years old. So yeah, that was, uh, it was crazy. Life changing experience. So Guys, if you guys want to improve your overall quality of life, whatever it may be, then you guys need to contact us today. Call or text 727-389-3220 and check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. And maybe you guys will get the book with these awesome nurse practitioners, Chanel and Jess. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Hey guys, John here from Titan, and I want to officially invite you guys out to the St. Pete Art and Fashion Week down in St. Petersburg, Florida, presented by and sponsored by Titan Medical Center, put together by the awesome Donna Crowley at Lux Fashion Group. This is gonna be a weekend to remember. So September 8th through the 10th, there's an event on every single night. The first night, the 8th, we have the opening soiree, which is Neon Nights, right? This will be done on Sundial. Um, you can check the official page of St. Peter Art and Fashion Week to see all the times and places that you can go. On Friday, High Fashion Friday, that's right. So there's gonna be fashion shoots going on all around downtown St. Petersburg. This is open to the public, so you can see some of the models or the different photographers out there getting some great pictures and content out there. And of course, September 10th, that's the big one, the fashion show. That's right, the art and fashion show will be going on. It's gonna be an awesome show with a lot of great designers, including Titan Medical Center. So we'll have some awesome, great designs for all of our people out there to see. We can't wait to see you guys. It's gonna be a weekend to remember. So come join us September 8th through the 10th for St. Pete Art and Fashion Week, presented by and sponsored by Titan Medical Center. We will see you there. Later. Hey guys, so today I wanna to talk to you about one of our awesome therapies. Every time I do these videos, I wanna educate you guys on what the therapy is, what's in it, and how's it really gonna help you, right? because that's what really matters, the result. So today we're gonna to talk about Super Titan. And Super Titan is one of my all time old favorites. 
It involves glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, and L-citrulline. So you're saying, what are these components really gonna do for me? Yeah, they're cool, well, you know, I might've heard of them in over-the-counter supplements or whatever it is. So let's break it down for you and really tell you what these things are gonna do for you. So glutamine, it's gonna be great for recovery and revitalization of the body, right? That's what we wanna do. We're doing this hard, strenuous activity and we gotta recover to get those gains and get that recovery so you guys can get the results you want. Then we involve arginine and L-citrulline. These are awesome. They're precursors to nitric oxide. You're gonna be having vasodilation, creating more blood flow throughout the body and the extremities. Then you're gonna involve lysine. So lysine is another great one. Why? Because it boosts the immune function and the system of immunity. So at that point, you're going to be breaking your body down, lifting weights or doing the strenuous activity, right? Your body doesn't know what that strenuous activity is but it's still causing stress on the immune system. So you don't want it to break down, especially if you're putting in all that hard work. So lysine is gonna help support the immune function in your body. These components all together are gonna to be awesome all the way around. Now, this comes in an injectable form. That means you're gonna have a faster transportation rate and a higher absorbency. This is really a lot of different things that are gonna benefit you daily and improve your strenuous activity whatever it may be. The other thing, I always get the question about what's the difference between Super Titan and Hercules Potion. So Hercules Potion has four different components more than Super Titan does, okay? But you're still gonna get that instant gratification from using Super Titan because it has five of the major components that are in Hercules Potion. Now with this, it's awesome because you can use this as far as injectable in a couple different places. Now, if you're an amateur and you say, listen, I don't want to get all crazy. How can I just use this to get the benefits all throughout the body? You can actually inject in any muscle. I would prefer the deltoid myself. It's very easy to get to. You're using this baby insulin needle to do it. It's virtually painless. So it's not a big needle. There's not a big scare. And seven out of 10 of our patients have never done injections before. So if you're in that boat, don't worry. And you can ease yourself in. Now with this, if you want more instant gratification with your injection with Super Titan or Hercules Potion, you can use this on any muscle group. So let's say you're working biceps that day. You can actually inject in your biceps. And I promise you, if you inject it in the muscle you're using that day, you're probably gonna get a lot better of a pump that way. Just quicker. If you inject your deltoid, it's still gonna get you that pump and you're still gonna get the recovery and everything there. So don't worry about losing any of that. But I promise you, if you start using it with the muscle groups training, you, way, you might get a way better result. So guys, if you want Super Titan or you wanna know more about it, please contact us. Call or text 727-389-3220 or hit us up on our website, titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys, John here from Titan and I'm back with another health and fitness tip for you guys. That's right, so I'm trying to bring you guys some awesome fitness and health tricks that will help you guys obtain your goal, whatever it may be. There's a lot of goals out there, so I'll have more tips for you guys in the future, so stay tuned to that. But in the meantime, let's talk about today, right now, for you guys. So let's talk about losing weight, right? And there's a lot of different things to lose weight, but we need to talk about some core things to do to lose weight. Now, I'm sure you've heard these things over and over and over again, but I'm still gonna say them to you because you've gotta really ingrain them into your mind so you get a hold of it, wrap your hands around it, and say, I'm going to do this and I have the necessary tools to achieve what I'm trying to do here. So let's talk about it. So, when we wanna do weight loss, we gotta think about a couple different aspects here. Obviously, we gotta think about nutrition. It's a part of it, okay? What you're eating, you are what you eat. Remember that, okay? So look at all the labels, pick some good food sources, um, you know, people are going to hit me like, what should I eat? We'll talk about the whole different segment, but today let's talk about some of the main things. So obviously nutrition plan, find something that works for you, right? If you don't know, you can sort out a professional and they're going to help you out. Two, exercise program. It's essential, right? And when we talk about exercise programs, when people talk about losing weight, they only think about like getting on a treadmill. 
or get on elliptical. I have to do a whole bunch of cardiovascular and I gotta run like a little mouse on a wheel. It's not true, that's not true at all. You can make this fun, you can make this more appeasing to you, and you can get a lot more out of just achieving weight loss, right? Let's talk about that. So when we talk about weight loss and different exercises for it, obviously cardiovascular is gonna be in there. You need to have cardiovascular activity, you need to raise the, your heart rate, you need to burn calories. That's gonna be you, yes, doing some cardiovascular activity. And this can be a lot of different things. It just doesn't have to be running on a treadmill. You can do a lot of different things. You can Google this and look up a ton of different cardiovascular exercises because it would take me too long to even mention on this video all the different things that you could possibly do. So look into that. Along with that is weightlifting. You have to weight train on some sort of level. So if you've had a bad car accident and your right leg is not as good as your left leg or something is going on there, you can still exercise. You just gotta find some different techniques that are gonna work best for you, right? But let's say you're okay. Everything's fine there. You need to really think about weight training. And this is the reason why I say this. When we talk about weight loss, we want to lose weight, right? Well, we know this, the more muscle you have in your body, the more fat you're gonna burn every single day and every single minute in that day. So we need to have some sort of muscle in there. When you do cardiovascular activity, when you look at a runner, most runners out there, they're real lean. There's not a whole bunch of muscle mass on them. And you don't have to be a bodybuilder, I'm not talking about that but you definitely want to look at building some muscle because this muscle will burn fat right along with the cardiovascular activity that you're doing and burning more fat. Your metabolism will be through the roof and you'll be happy and you'll be getting results day in and day out, I promise. After that, sleep. Sleep is essential, okay? Getting in good sleep patterns and routines is gonna be essential for not just weight loss, but for your overall health, that's right, your general health, the way that you feel every single day of your life ultimately comes from a little bit of sleep. We need sleep. Our bodies need to recharge. If you have an electric car, you're possibly thinking about an electric car, they need to charge too, right? Or it's not gonna run. That's exactly what's happening to you. And when we get sleep deprivation or we're not getting enough rest, our body is not working at optimal levels and all the different functions in it are not gonna work that good either. So think about sleep too as well. After that, we need some recovery. Think about recovery, guys, because you know, we want to go, go, go. I want to train seven days a week, two hours a day, two a days. That's great, right? But your body does need a little bit of downtime to recover. And you need to do the right things for recovery. Day in and day out. That's getting enough water, getting enough nutrients, whatever it may be. Your macros, carbohydrates, your proteins, your fats. And you need to make sure these are all correct. If you don't know those, trust me, you can get really amateur about it and go seasonal and get really, really uh, in-depth about it later on but start somewhere where you can get a grasp on things and it's very easy for you to assume like, all right, I can take this or I can do this and this is what I need to eat, right? So these things, especially recovery, sleep is a part of recovery, but giving yourself enough downtime so your muscles rebuild and rejuvenate themselves and rebuild stronger than when you previously had them before. That's what it's all about. So guys, these are the pillars, tips and tricks for you guys. I know you probably hear them a lot. You're like, man, I hear this all the time. But really, what can I dial in? That's where some of the tight medical center therapies can help you guys out. And listen, if you're doing everything right, you're saying, John, I've hit every single thing that you said, and I haven't lost weight, I'm gaining weight. This is just not going like it should be. Well, we might need to reassess some of the things in a different program, or you might need to look at some, maybe some blood work and look at where your hormones are at, where these different levels are at in the body. Make sure they're all optimal so your body can run and perform like it's supposed to. So guys, if you need help in this, we're here for you, but I want to give you some different things that you guys can do at home, right? Where you can look at these different things and say, am I doing every single pillar that I need to? The four pillars of getting a healthy lifestyle and getting in those habits. And habits are the most important thing, and that's the next video I'm going to talk about for you guys. So, if you guys like this tip and trick, I hope you guys did. Make sure you guys are tuning in for the next one. And guys, as always, check out the med website, tightmedicalcenter.com. If you want to check out some different videos that I've done, go over to YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center. You'll see all the great, good content, videos, explain some of the therapies and all the other good stuff that come along with it. And if you want help with the therapies itself, you want to become a patient, you want some help in your journey of health, weight loss, or fitness, call or text us today, 727-389-3220. And guys, stay tuned for the next health tip and trick from me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center. See you guys.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to be going over topics that will hopefully help entice, enhance, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And don't worry, if you are in a relationship, you can use this vital information to make your next relationship a super success. Because that's what it's all about, having a successful relationship, long-lasting, loving, and caring relationship, you know, to go on forever and ever and ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> or so we hope, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every week, you know, we want to go over great topics. Now, this is some stuff that me and Sharice have experienced maybe throughout the years, or we've seen from friends or other relationships that we've seen around us. And, you know, you want to take all that knowledge, soak it all up, and utilize it for your relationship or your future relationship, mm -hmm. and that is as well. And one thing that we always talk about in every episode, can we give a lot of its, you know, topics or tricks, is uh, communication. And we talk about it every single time. And how communication is the most vital or one of the most vital parts of your relationship. And being able to you know, tell your partner what's going on, talk to them about issues, talk to them about where you want to go in life or what you're trying to achieve, and having them on the same page with you. Right? Or if you're just having a problem. And you yeah. need to address it. Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure out how to communicate that Yeah, yeah. over and, to them. And I think that's the biggest problem with relationships out there or people is that, you know, they get in relationships. Um, they can communicate at work just fine, I guess. But some people, when they get in situations with their significant other, there's different ways that they cope with this communication process. And if it's something negative per se, like, you do something wrong or your significant other starts yelling at you about something or saying that they don't like something, you know, what do you do? What happens? And ask yourself, what do I do when this situation happens? And some people, they shut down, right? Like right away, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? I don't want to talk about this. I don't care. I'm going. See you later. And they might not even think about it again. And that's not good either, right? They try right, to just blow it you're off. burying it. Yeah. You're never gonna be able to bury it. You just all you're doing is really putting it in a bucket. And the bucket, you ever notice when you put sand in a bucket, it doesn't actually like the sand doesn't leave the bucket, right? It just keeps going on top and yeah. then on top and then yeah. on top. And then at some point, the sand just overflows on the bucket. Yeah. Then you have to address it because you know can't put more sand in the bucket. And then you're probably gonna have to deal with more problems that you've been covering up. <sighs> True fact, right yeah, there. Yeah, right? it's ugly. So you know when you have a problem or issue that arises, you know it's best to try to hit it head on. Now, dealing with a head-on situation mm -hmm. can be a little bit different too and challenging because you got two people that are involved. Mm -hmm. It's not just yourself that's dealing with this issue. It's the other person. And depending on what side of the coin that you're on, <laughs> you know, is Tales never fails. where you're going to be either more patient to hear about something or not want to hear about something and then the other person is going to want to get it off their chest and explain it or tell you in one way, shape, or form that you might not like. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you gotta communicate. You gotta talk about these problems or issues. And it might not just be a negative thing either, right? It Communication, could it could be, listen, this could be about, listen, what's our future gonna be? Or what, what are we, this, this kids, what are kids doing? Or what, what are we, where are we sending the kids for school? Or, I mean, it could be literally about anything. It's just, some people just hold back. Yeah. And all of a sudden they're lashing out at you, like out of nowhere in the middle of dinner, and you're like, what in the world is going on with you? Like, what is your problem? Right. You know, so I think, I really think um, probably one of the most important things, like if I had to pick the top little, you know, top little things here, the bullets. Um, the first one is, and this is just me personally, right? And I don't always process all of my thoughts um, right away before I speak because I'm not that great at it. I've gotten better at it through the years, you know. Um, but I try to process a little bit of it before I start speaking so that I can at least present it properly or like at least present it with some sort of, you know, a, a non-aggressive way, maybe. I try my very best. <laughs> I'm just an aggressive individual. <laughs> Very aggressive all the time. Um, but, you know, that that's number one, right? So just process everything before you speak. Number two, right, um, is to always make sure that whenever you guys are talking, you guys can't talk at the same time. Because if you guys are both talking at the same time, you are not listening to each other, right? True. So if you're, if you're both talking, 
Neither one of you can hear each other. So you're gonna have one of you guys is gonna have to shut up. Not in my my language, but you're just gonna have to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut you know. <laughs> so one of you guys is gonna have to be quiet and listen, and then you know, not just like you know, I mean, really process what they're saying, yeah. so that you can give them a, a response or at least think about it yeah. or whatever it is, right? And I'm not even talking about things that are you know, like I said, like he was saying, fighting or anything. Yeah. But that's number two. Number three, one thing I've learned with John specifically is. And this was in the beginning of the relationship. I used to do this all the time. It was always you, 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 you. I would always start the conversation with you, this, you, that, you, 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 you. So I finally, throughout the years, it took a long time. But, and see, this is what I'm saying. You guys are getting shortcuts. Like, this is like, you guys are cheating. So, anyways. But, you know, throughout the years, I've started to be like, all right, I need to, re like, reword this. And I'm, I started saying, like, I... And this is how I feel about it. This is how I am feeling and thinking right now. Instead of it being like pointing the finger and being like, you did this, you did that. You aren't listening. You aren't, it did that, that pointing the finger and yelling. It does not get you very far. Now, does it get, does it happen? Yeah, it might happen, Absolutely, but you does. know, but I mean, if you can try to calm down for a minute, which is taking, like I said, it's taking me years to do, but um, try to calm down for a minute, process it, and then maybe just word things correctly. Presentation is everything. True story. Yeah. I mean, presentation is everything. The way that you really bring up the conversation, whatever it is, and present it is probably going to be the way it's going to be accepted. You know, if you come at somebody really aggressive and defensive, they're probably going to get defensive right back to you, you know, and that's not going to be a good way to start a conversation and communicate, right? You got to be open. Um, and both pairs got to be open. Mm -hmm. And then when we're talking about talking one at a time, that's great. But you got to be able to give your partner the time to talk too as well. It's not just a one side street, right? Because if somebody's like, you, you, or I, or I think, and you just don't let them talk, then they're like, well, you know, I really didn't get my point across or maybe how the way that I feel. Because there's always, you know, there's always three sides to a story. But when you're dealing with two people, you have two different people in the way that maybe they perceive something, right. or the way um, they think, they think something, or the way they look at it. And at that point, you got that's what you guys got to talk about, right? Right. Compromise. You see, well, you can, yeah, you know, you see the whole picture on, on both sides. Of, you know, I see your side, I see my side, and you know, this is kind of what we need to do to bring everything together so we can resolve this issue, right? Or come together, you know, to to conquer the solution. Yeah, you know, the next battle we're gonna we're gonna face together. You know, whether it's maybe you know. You know, when you want to get a house, when you want to have kids, um, you know, where you want to have your wedding if you're going to get married, you know, all these different things, right? Who's, who's, who's a family we're going to go over for holidays this year? Are we going to go over both? We're going to go over one this year and the one next Why year? Why your mom first? Why my mom first? Why here first? Why here second? Would they want to do it at the same time? Well, why, why do you have to go to yours? You know? You're going to get a lot of these different things. And, you know, you don't really think about these little things. You really don't. You know, until you're in the relationship and you're dealing with these things. And yeah. you're like, man, I didn't think I'd ever have to deal with something like this in a relationship. Like, you know, like I just thought it was going to be pizza and cream. You know, everybody's going to get along. Right. Okay. It's going to be a beautiful thing, a utopia out there um, where everybody is just in holly jolly moods and, and everybody's just going to, you know, just let, let line dogs lie and, and have a great time together. Uh. Not going to happen. Right? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different personalities out there family's mixture or even yourselves you know what you think might be good and the other partner might not think is so good mm -hmm. and as you establish a relationship you go on and on and on you'll start learning more and more about your partner too so this will be able this should help you to be able to communicate and if you're in a long longer relationship and communication is starting to shut down mm -hmm. that's definitely not a good thing mm, not good. um you know because you establish that and begin the relationship and you should be adding on top of that through the years and be able to communicate even more yeah not like shut the person down when they start talking to you not good you know then they won't want to talk to you yeah it's not then good. they won't talk to you about anything it's and then they'll good. just be pent up frustration and at some point they're going to blow up on you yeah and that's never good because there's nothing good that comes out of like yeah. a blow up argument yeah and the, there's different ways that you can improve communication so i was talking to sharice and uh, and we were talking about this earlier before we got on the show and the thing was, was like, all right, we preach communicate, communicate, communicate. Communication is key to any relationship out there, whether it's business or personal or your love relationship, right? But how do you improve those communication skills with each other? Yes, we know that one person should be talking, the other one should be listening, right? And then reciprocating and then feedback through there. But how do you gain those skills? 
And when you look at a relationship, whether it's a business relationship or a love relationship, it's usually a partnership to some sort of mm -hmm. degree, right? You guys are working together as a team to accomplish a goal, whatever it may be. If that's, you know, love life, children, so on, so on, or that's business, you know, we want to grow, 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 whatever yeah, it may we be. We have a couple of different options. Yeah, so, and, and we're, we're on both those paths, and usually it's either one or the other, oh, right? Sure. You're in a business relationship with somebody and it doesn't have to be a girl or a guy, but it should be two people, or you're in a love relationship, right? And that's gonna be there. Usually they don't cross over. We're kind of an anomaly here. Mm -hmm. There are some more people out there like us, but it's harder to do, trust me, a lot harder to do. But at that point, you know, you gotta be able to communicate with those people. So use different techniques to do this. Now, one thing that I did, like, or I think that's a really good one, like you guys can both go out and do, and this can be done in a business light or in a love light, right? Is like uh, we used to, and we do it all the time for our family just because we like to do it as fun. Yeah. But um, you know, you go into the escape rooms. I love or escape things like rooms. escape rooms. I just don't like being in it with other people. And uh, you know, you can get it for yourselves, right? So it listen, <laughs> buy the whole room, John. I want to be in know, there. I you, want new new friends. You could buy the whole room out <laughs> just so it's you and your significant other and, and play this game together. And what does it do? It really does teach teamwork because you guys have to. Uh, we'll find everything. Attack everything. Look put for all the clues. Put these puzzle pieces together. Put the puzzles together. Start answering these questions to ultimately solve the mission, right? Because that's the goal. You guys want to go in there and solve this mission together. And Hopefully it, your significant other is yeah. smart. And people can get frustrated in there, too. <laughs> this is where the communication comes. Like, don't get frustrated. Like, I'll, you know, help, you I'll help you find that, you know? that sock. And then you guys can agree on, hey, listen, do we need a clue? Do we not need a clue? This is, you know, you got to raise your hand. It is. Let's get together. And, and this is something that you yeah. have to agree it's, on together to be able to do. It's not just, oh, well, I want it. John I never want it. wants a clue. I never want the clues. And I'm like, I want to work for I'm it. I'm like, dude, we have like three minutes left and we have not taken any of the three clues. Please let me have a clue. <laughs> I don't like clues. And he's like, like fine, myself. clip. But, you know, <laughs> when you get the clue, it'll help you out. And it is what it is. And we've, we've conquered a lot of these rooms. Oh, yeah, we always so escape. So it's really, really cool to do. I think that's just one exercise. There's also things like charades and stuff like that where you're starting to learn that person, like, you know, what they're trying to get at. And you guys can communicate with each other without in speaking. silence. I was going to say without speaking. Dude, that's the best. Because if, if you can look at your significant other in a room and you guys are, let's say, 50 oh, feet apart. Yeah, me and John. You guys know that. what you guys are talking about or thinking. Time. Dude. That's the Just best. one look across the room. 100%. I already 100%. know. You, and, you know, this will work for you guys too. You'll know you're in trouble. If she looks at you a certain way, oh shit. Uh, My look is, uh, <laughs> I do like, like oh like, shoot. Uh -oh. I do like three blinks or so. Yeah. So and then I smile. You and always he's like, know. Uh, okay, time to go. <laughs> so I know we always talk about it every episode, but start doing it. Communicate with your partner or in life, in your relationships, all the way around. Everything. This will definitely benefit you in so many different ways, and I think you'll be a lot happier in a relationship all the way around too as well. So guys, that's the great tip for today. Make sure you're communicating and improving your communication skills for your partner and for a better quality of life all the way around. So guys, we'll see you next week. ABC, every Sunday, 11 a.m., Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. And guys, if you guys couldn't watch it live, DVR it. If you miss it there, go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and watch all the great Cupid Corner, Cupid's Corner episodes and a lot, lot more cool content. Later, guys. Bye. See you next week.